During World War II, a Japanese death cult is kidnapping children in China to break the spirit of the nation because they're training those children to be assassins. In the wrath of Varjra, a former abductee, now a Shaolin monk, returns to the temple to take it down one fight at a time. The main story of this film is very simple, actually. The Shaolin monk has returned, and he has to fight his way up the ladder to face the head of the temple, his former friend. And if he beats that guy, then he can disband the temple. Sounds easy enough, but we have all of these subplots going on at the same time. A group of foreign soldiers has just been brought in after a failed battle, and it turns out that amongst these soldiers are more escaped former abductee, now assassins. It's crazy. And then we have kids that are being brought in, and some of them are from the same Shaolin temple that our main character is from. All of this comes together in that main story, in the fight for everyone's health, everyone's lives, everyone's soul, and for the soul of China. There's one reason I clicked play on this one, and that's to see people beating the crap out of each other. And on that score, the film delivers kinda. There are some fight scenes here that are amazing. The athleticism alone is impressive. And then there's others where the main guy slows down. He's not as fast, he's not as Chris because the person he's fighting just isn't as good as he is. So we have some fights that are epic and we have some fights that are just okay. Oddly enough though, the film really relies a lot on drama to fill the majority of the film, to really get into the storylines, to get into our characters. I mean, our villain has a clear reason for everything that he does. He's just not evil for the sake of being evil. I liked that The Wrath of Vajra had some dramatic complexity to it for a martial arts film. It's just that some of those fights weren't as good as the others and some of those dramatic sequences went a bit long. If you're not a fan of the martial arts genre, don't watch this one. I hate to say that, but if you are a Kung Fu fan, this is one you really want to check out.